Hey y'all, how y'all doing tonight? This is Kay. Happy Saturday night. Y'all know I'm just getting off work and y'all I came here and fried me some chicken wings. I ain't got no bread. I ain't make no salad. I ain't do nothing. I got me some honey. I'm a drizzle on they fresh out the grease. Huh? They talking about Prince. I just caught this. Let me turn it up for you. I used to love Prince, y'all. Excuse me. I don't know what it is. I'm going to get ready to go to bed. I'm tired. Well, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hey, y'all. Happy Saturday night. Y'all look at this with me. Let me get this chicken. It's kind of hot. I just did it. Look at that honey. Had the greatest nights of their lives watching Prince perform. The idea that he Ooh, would succumb that's that to the honey. same thing that had taken so many Look at it. Oh. <laughs> that was shocking. That deep sorrow and concern over what caused his death. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for this. You're Even right. more profound among his close family and friends. Oh, look at that hot sauce. Yeah, that's that Texas peak. Can y'all see it? Ooh. <laughs> We're going to do a mukbang, whatever you want to call them, go get some paper towels. I got some on paper towels, but that's to drain that grease off. I mean, it's fresh, straight, hot out the grease. Y'all look at that. Watch, look. To talk about her precocious musical siblings. He played the piano when he was five. My dad would say, boy, stop pounding on those keys. Okay, y'all, I'm going to say my grace. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for this food by his will. I feel you, this Lord, I dearly pray. I mean, y'all just had to taste for some chicken. Oh, I forgot the bread. Y'all, that's Sarah Lee's. Sarah Lee's butter bread. Sarah Lee's butter bread. Y'all got it? Okay. We're gonna watch a little TV, y'all. I'm about to eat and crash. Get up and get ready for my church in the morning on the radio. See what's popping. Oh, Lord, I love the Lord. Did I say my grace? God is great. 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 God is just, it's just winding down on me. Hey, it wasn't too bad there. There was a lot of people came today. It was real busy today for it to be a Saturday. And uh, I think next Saturday I'm going to take off. I know I say that all the time. <laughs> but y'all, when it comes to bills, you got to pay that. Now, this hot. So I'm going to let y'all watch that and I'm going to smack. Ooh, look at that smoke. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Mm. More potent than heroin. And just as an example, two milligrams mm. of fentanyl would be considered. I'm going to lay my bones in. Right there, it don't matter. <laughs> Ooh, the hot sauce. Ooh, look at that smoke. The startling answer came after investigators tested a sampling of those pills confiscated at Paisley Park. It was revealed that they were not legitimate prescription painkillers at all. They're actually counterfeits, laced with fentanyl instead of the real ingredient. That Watson 853 imprint. A Thank you, Jesus. Forgive me for not saying it. The same as a regular pill. And see, that's the danger because you don't know what you're getting. You're getting a potential death. Mm -hmm. It can kill you. He wouldn't have taken a pill like that at all had he known. But if you're taking it for pain, then you're, you think you're going to get healed, and you're not. You're going to die first. You hear that? Many other unsuspecting Americans have fallen prey to black market counterfeit pills containing fentanyl instead of the actual ingredient. Everything from fake painkiller pills like oxycodone and Percocet to Xanax, an anti-anxiety med taken by millions. And there's so many people that are dying in this thing. Whatever it may be, they're putting it out there. 
A tragic case involving counterfeit Xanax unfolded near the beautiful seaside town of Santa Cruz, California. You don't know my story. Grew up an all-American boy with a passion for Little League baseball. Y'all just, a, a just person, don't know, Lord. Very kind-hearted, uh, very genuine. In October 2015, we'll move out to West the office. 29-year-old Tosh a pill after he said he was having trouble sleeping. So what? The next morning, his mother Carrie says Tosh was found unresponsive in his bedroom. And they tried mm. everything they could. Lord Jesus. Hard, but it was way too late. It was way too late. It seemed so surreal for the longest time. It still does sometimes. It's just I was trying to clean chicken bone. Look, the bone still smoking. Look at there. I have to live, you know, the rest of my life without him. Oh, that's my karaoke light on. Okay, let me be quiet so y'all can hear. Another one of those fake pills laced with fentanyl. Ooh. It was so toxic that Tosh died despite taking less than half of the pill. It's Russian. Mm. You have no idea if this pill is one of those or not. He did not plan to die that night. He had his whole life ahead of him and wanted more. That friend who gave Tosh the counterfeit Xanax was arrested after trying to dump the pills by the side of a road. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to a year in prison. But what remains unknown? Where those poison pills came from? And more importantly, who made them? You're furious, the mm. ones that, that actually manufacture oh, yes. the pills. Yes, it's greed. Just out and out greed. And those are the people that need to be held accountable. You're poisoning people, is ultimately what you're doing. It's the same mystery Thank you, Jesus. Prince's family. Yeah. More than two years after Prince's death, authorities still haven't been able to track where his deadly fake pills came from. Do you have any idea where these pills came from? None whatsoever. They don't care who lives or dies. Bam. Up, 2020 travels all the way across the country to follow the trail of one of the men churning out those poison pills. Here in this Florida garage, a bombshell is uncovered. The secrets Ooh. of a counterfeit pill maker and who he was selling to. Next. Y'all know I ain't got but 10 minutes. I don't know how to get long time. Mm. Okay, it's a commercial break, y'all. Yeah. Um, work was live today. We got such a good worker. This new girl, she the bond, y'all. She really helps me out. She dedicated so she can work. Maybe not. Maybe because stuff so quick. You ain't gotta tell them nothing. She'll just do it. Look at that. You could just trust her some. Show her got some love. Only Activia has billions of our ain't got all of them. A delicious way to come back home. Every day with 20 years of commercial. Activia, like no other. Mm. Y'all that honey and hot sauce on this chicken. I put some garlic on here, some old bay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Black pepper. Mm. I ain't racing against time or nothing. I'm just hungry. <laughs> mm. Look at that smoke. Mm. So do we. Ray kills roaches seven times faster than the next lady. I got roaches. I don't know. Y'all heard a blessed month for Y'all need to turn this on. It's on channel 9, ABC. And for this watching this, these drugs is taking them out. Thank you, Lord. Give me the strength to be positive. Be clean. Give me the strength to do right. Lord, help me in the name of Jesus. I pray. Y'all have a blessing one tonight. And y'all watch this. It's on Channel 9, ABC. I, I, don't, I only think I got 10 minutes. I wish I could mukbang this with y'all. Look, I put a dent in them, and I'm going to finish them. There ain't going to be nothing left on here. All right, y'all have a blessed and wonderful night. Y'all go chill with okay. Good night. See you in the morning with a daily prayer.